In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be heading to my brother's house because Zeno, one of his African borbles, is showing signs that she could possibly be pregnant. I am looking at Zena's nesting spot. She is just absolutely so precious. Hi, girl. What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a great day so far. So, guys, in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be heading to my brother's house because Zeno, one of his African borbles, is showing signs that she could possibly be pregnant. Now guys, if you have literally no idea what I'm talking about, well, Zena is one of my brother's African borbles. She is actually the female, and my brother also has a male. His name is Bruno. Now, we got Bruno and Zena about a couple months ago, I would say about five months ago, and guys, those two are literally inseparable. They are... Oh, they're just literally like in love with each other. They are just absolutely adorable. But most of you that have been following my channel have already met Bruno. And guys, I just, I'm so sad to share this with you guys. But about two or three weeks ago, it was a tragic, tragic accident. And Bruno unfortunately passed away. We miss him so much. We loved him so much. But with me, Bruno was literally attached to me. He would sleep with me every night for about three or four months. He went with me everywhere. He was like my little wingman. And, you know, but it was just too emotional for me to make a video on Bruno. It was just... It was just so sudden and you know we are just so shocked but guys if you want to you want to find out the story and how bruno passed away guys i'm gonna link it in the description down below it's gonna be the second link it's gonna link you to my brother jacob fetter's page where he did a whole video in bruno's honor so guys the signs that xena is showing is she is starting to nest now she has been digging a hole digging the entire dirt out under my brother's shed and that is one of the first signs that any mom dog will show when she is pregnant now they do that because they want to find a comfortable safe spot to have their babies to give birth and she also stole milo's ball and she's carrying it around everywhere and crying non-stop and that is also another sign so guys i want to take extra precautions because if xena is pregnant i want to give her a nice comfortable place to give birth but guys these signs could also be because she may be mourning bruno because she was so attached to him just like we were so in that case i would still want to give her the nice little bed to make her feel loved make her feel feel you know comfortable secure and safe so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna change out my pajamas and we're gonna grab the things we need to head on to jacobs what are you what are you guys doing are you guys friends guys you can see that literally any animals can be friends you can see that milo right here and joe right here are just hanging out sunbathing and they are just they're just not even interested in each other. They don't really care about each other. And it's just amazing how, you know, two different types of animals can coexist. So guys, if you look right here, I got the pool in the car. I got the towels so we can lay them in the pool for Xena. So now that I have everything loaded up, let's head on to Jacob's. Guys, to get a closer look at Zena, I mean, she is just absolutely so precious. Hi, girl. But if we are just examining her stomach, if you look right here in this exact position, you can see that she has just an abnormal, you know, bump right here. It's just kind of out of place. It just kind of pops up out of nowhere. So that right there could be a puppy forming, getting bigger. Now, guys, I don't think she's close to giving birth yet because, guys, if I just have her lay down right here, come here, Zena. Lay down. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. Guys, if you actually squeeze a mama dog's nipples close to when they are expecting, then, guys, milk will actually start to come out because when they are close to their due date, their sacks of milk all along right here will fill up with milk. Now, you can see right here, there is just absolutely nothing in there right now. Dina, you're so precious, mama. Uh, Zena, what are you doing, girl? You got flies around your little nipples. What are you doing? Are you being so funny? I do having so much fun. Guys, you can see Milo joined us right here, and he is just hanging out with us. Hey, Milo. Hey, are you going to ignore me, buddy? Milo. Oh, oh. Okay, then. Guys, before I get what we need out of the car so we can start making Zena's little nest, we are going to go say hi to one of my brother's macaws. Hey, are you dancing for me? 
hi so guys this is one of my brother's blue and gold macaws and he was actually given to us he is not really friendly so i'm kind of working on the trusting with him you can see that he just wants to ah don't bite me he just wants to bite me any chance he gets but he is just a complete sweetheart he loves to dance he loves to talk to us it's a little cuckoo but you know hopefully i will gain his trust hi i'm not putting my finger in there you're kind of scary now guys, Zena has been digging under my brother's shed for about a couple days now, making a little nest, making it nice and homey, digging all of the dirt out so she has like a little home under the shed. Now guys, these are the first signs when a dog is pregnant and ready to have puppies. Now guys, when any animal is pregnant, what they will do is they will find a comfortable spot where they feel secure, they feel safe, and they will start building a home, whether it's in a tree or whether it's in a bush, guys. They'll find a nice, perfect place to build a home for their expecting babies. Now more signs Zena is showing that she possibly could be pregnant is she keeps carrying around Milo's ball and is crying nonstop whenever we see her, whenever we get home, whenever we're around, she is just whining and whining and whining and carrying that ball around and actually taking it under the shed with her. So guys, I am looking at Zena's nesting spot right now, so I'm going to flip the camera around so you guys can take a look for yourself. So guys, you can see that Jacob's shed is right here and Zena has made a nice cozy spot under here. You can see that all the dirt is pushed up right here and it kind of is like a little cave. You can see it goes all the way in there and she has a lot of room, but you can see that it definitely looks like she's digging it out. And you know, this could be the very spot she decides to have her puppies. Now to take extra precautions in case Zena is pregnant. Now we are not 100% sure, but just in case, we don't want her to have her puppies in the dirt just laying around because there's a great possibility one might get lost so that is why I brought the pool here today that's why I brought some blankets so we can make a nice cozy home for Xena all right guys so I got the pool out of my car and I got all the blankets and now since I rinsed this pool we are gonna get it set up for Xena so all I'm gonna do is first I am gonna lay the towel down across like this just like that so she has a nice comfy bottom and then I'm going to lay the blanket just like this. Now, we don't want to make it too, too thick because we just want it to be nice and perfect for her. So we are just going to even it out just like this. And guys, there we have it. We have a little nesting box for Xena. It is just absolutely perfect. And, you know, if she does end up having puppies, this is a perfect way for your dog to give birth because, guys, when they have puppies in a little kiddie pool like this, the puppies can't get out. And it is perfect for the first couple weeks. So let's go show Xena. Now guys, you can see that I have moved the little nesting box to the front door because Zena loves laying at the front door and well, I don't want these blankets to get wet. So let's introduce Zena. Zena, come here. Uh, she's kind of kind of kind of a little lazy right now, guys. All right guys, so we have Zena right here and I have some chicken in my hand and she is just so eager to eat it. Now this is a great way to encourage her to go into this little nesting box to make her feel comfortable, guys. Now guys, this is a great, great start. She's putting her first leg in it and she is really, really comfortable with it. And guys, she just, she just wants the chicken. <gasps> Zena, now come in, lay in here. Come on. Now I'm gonna put my hand just like this. So she wants to climb in even more. <gasps> guys, Zena is fully in here, guys. If you look at her legs right here. Let's see if we can get her to lay down. Here, come, lay down. Now Zena is just an absolute sweetheart, but it's gonna definitely take her some time to get used to her new nesting box. Guys, if you look right here, Zena is completely sitting down. She has gotten pretty comfortable with her bed. She is just, she is just loving it hanging out here. Now she may have to graduate to a bigger size, but I, I think she loves it. Zena, what do you think? Right, guys so that is going to end today's video if you enjoyed today's video give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you guys think Zena may be pregnant or if you think she is just mourning bruno and guys if you want to see and find out if she might be pregnant then what are you waiting for subscribe to the first link down below